first video I thought I would do kind of like a back to school type thing since it's August, September and everyone's going back to school. So I thought I'd do a video about eating disorders and school. Now I know for me, having an eating disorder while going to school is much more difficult than just, you know, at home during the summer. So I thought I would give you guys some like helpful tips or a um, little bit of advice on how to handle that during school. So first, my first um, piece of knowledge <laughs> is um, clothes. To wear clothes that make you comfortable. Now, if you feel like wearing sweatpants to school, wear sweatpants to school. If you feel like getting all dressed up one day, get all dressed up one day. You know, it doesn't matter. Don't base your clothing off of what you think other people in high school are wearing. Wear what makes you feel good, what makes you feel comfortable. Because if you put on something in the morning and it doesn't make you feel good, then, you know, it, it's just going to transpire throughout the rest of the day. And you're not going to feel good about yourself. And I think that's really important. Is if when we feel bad about ourselves, it's a lot easier for us to you know, kind of get into that negative mindset and allow those thoughts to kind of take over and, um, you know, get back into that cycle of the eating disorder and, you know, we don't want that. We want to feel good about ourselves and happy and beautiful because you're all beautiful and you deserve to feel good about yourself and confident and, you know, just happy. So wear something that makes you feel good, not what you think you know, some boy's gonna like, or uh, what you're gonna, what you think the other girls will be impressed with. Just wear what you think is good for you. What wear what's comfortable for you, what feels good for you, and what you feel confident in. Um, the second thing is find a buddy. Now, what I mean by that is find someone that if you are having a rough day, if you're having, if you're struggling, if you feel like you know you're out of control and you need to talk to someone find someone that you know um, is going to be there now whether that's a friend at school whether that's a friend you can call or text or you know your mom your dad whatever someone that if you feel like hey I am in a situation here and I need some help find someone that you know no matter what what time of day you know you can call them now, preferably that would be someone that's actually going to be, you know, at the school that you're at, but I understand that, you know, some people go to different schools than most of their friends or something like that. So, you know, preferably someone that's, you know, close by that you can, you know, grab and say, hey, you know, I need, I, I need support here. Can you please help me out? Um, but if that's not possible, someone you can call is great too or text or, you know, if go to the bathroom, excuse yourself from class. Um, if you're having a rough time and say, you know, can you talk to me here? I don't, you know, I'm scared or I'm, you know, I don't know what to do. Something like that. The third thing is safe foods. Now for me, school lunch is very difficult because I don't personally like eating in front of people. And to go from at home where, you know, I can eat whatever I want, you know, the kitchen's open and full, and I can eat whatever I want, you know, make whatever I want, take as long as I want, um, and no one else is there, you know, I can eat by myself, to go from that to at school where, you know, it's very rushed, there's people everywhere, um, you know, the food's not healthy, it's not what I would normally eat, it's someone else is making it so I don't have control over it, um, so my, what I do is I keep safe foods in my locker. Now, what I mean by that is foods that you always feel safe eating. So if you are having a day where, you know, you're struggling and you're like, and you, you don't know what to eat or you are struggling to even eat or you're struggling to binge or whatever, that you can have something that you're like, you don't know what, I'm just going to eat this and it's, everything's going to be okay. So have something like that in your locker. Now what? Foods like that are different for everyone, so I know what mine are, but you need to find what yours are and, um, you know, have those available. And then back to the lunch thing. Um, during lunch, I suggest that, you know, depending on what your eating disorder is and, you know, what your 
um, struggles and strengths are. Um, I suggest, you know, if you're having trouble eating um, with, you know, with the people around you or, you know, whatever your anxiety is about, I suggest finding something to do, something productive to do during lunch so that while you're eating, you're not focusing on, you know, the food and the calories and, you know, whatever you're worried about. You're focusing on, you know, you could do homework, you could draw a picture, um, you know, go to the library and read a book, um, write a poem, you know, just something that is going to get your mind off of that food and onto something, you know, positive and productive so that, you know, you're not focusing on demonizing that food and you're just, you're, you're thinking about something else. Um, next is friends. Um, if you can, try and sit with friends at school. Um, I know it can be difficult for a lot of people to eat in front of people, but I think that if you are with your friends, that at least for me, it encourages me to, you know, eat, eat normally and eat as a healthy individual would. Because I feel like if I'm with my friends, if I'm not, um, eating like they are, then, you know, people are going to notice. And so it encourages me to, um, to do, to do that. And so, but I also want to be careful with that because, um, the next thing I have written down here is comfort zones. So, if that is going to make you feel like, um, you know, it's going to put you in a situation where you're going to feel so out of control, then don't do it. If, and that goes for everything, anything. Um, don't ever put yourself in a situation where you're going to feel, um, out of control or like you're pushing yourself too much and it's going to overwhelm you and you're going to end up, you know, doing another behavior, binging or purging or, you know, not eating at all or whatever it is. So just watch that and, you know, if, if there's a day where you're like, you want to know what, I can't handle eating in front of people today. You know, I, I just can't do it. You know, it's stressing me out and I, I don't know what to do. If that happens, then do what feels comfortable for you. So if that means you need to go, you know, to the library or, you know, to the student center or, you know, whatever these areas are in your school, any by yourself, then that's okay. Um, sometimes, you know, we all have those days where we're just so overwhelmed and that that voice is much stronger and it's it's really beating down on us and we need you need to just step back and say okay this isn't going to happen I'm stronger than this I can do this and it's going to be fine everything's going to be fine so you know just kind of step back and and realize that it's okay just kind of breathe and you know I know it feels like the world is kind of ending in that moment, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, the sixth thing is concentrate on your classes. Concentrate on your classes and your friends and high school. High school is supposed to be fun. It's for friends, for, you know, taking fun classes, for um, going out and doing things. Focus on that. Focus on... You know, don't let high school become your eating disorder. You don't want to look back in 20 years and see that, you know, all you can remember is your eating disorder. You know, have fun with friends. Go out, you know, make new friends. Talk to new people. Explore. And I know that can be really scary sometimes, but trust me, it's going to be worth it in the end. You're going to want those memories. You're going to want those fun times. And so that kind of leads me into the next thing, which is it's okay to have fun. I think that sometimes in our eating disorders, we get so wrapped up and they tell us that, you know, we're not allowed to have fun, that that's not okay. And it is okay. It's so okay. Um, you know, so allow yourself to do fun things. Like, if you want to go out with your friends, go out with your friends. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, I understand that you know, going out with your friends can be, you know, you know, like really anxiety filled if there's food involved, but, you know, still allow yourself to, to go do that. And if you get there 
and you're like, you want to know what, guys? I don't think I can do this. That's okay. At least you tried it. And at least you're going to be proud of yourself for pushing yourself to say, I can do this, and I'm going to try it. And, you know, and if the first time it doesn't work out, try again the next time, and maybe the next time. And maybe it takes you four times before you can really, you know, enjoy yourself and um, do everything that everyone else is doing. But that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter how many times it takes as long as you keep trying and trying and trying. So, um, that's just kind of my little, um, spiel on back to school, and if you guys have any questions or whatever, feel free to ask or message me, comment below, um, tell me if you guys are excited about school, um, if you have any anxieties or worries, anything like that, um, you guys are all beautiful, and I hope you guys have a wonderful year. Um, it's going to be exciting and, you know, fun, and just let it be fun. Don't let your eating disorder control you and, and tell you that, that it, it's all about it, because it's not. It's about having fun, and about friends, and getting a good education. So I hope you guys have a great year, and I will see you all next Tuesday.